Okay, so we're going to look at each of the four representations, uh, words, equations, graphs, and tables, and we're going to look one more time at how we pick out the rate of change and how we pick out the initial value. So a phone company has a one-time setup fee of $50 and charges $100 per month. So rate of change, this is something that's changing over time or over items, and we usually look for the word per. I won't say it will always be there, but it's something that's happening with a um, every month or every day or every uh, item that you sell or something like that. So $100 per month, that's the rate of change. And we're gonna write that as dollars and we're gonna write it with units since we're writing. Okay, the initial value. This is what you're starting with. This is the thing that only happens one time. We don't multiply it by anything. Well, here we have a one-time setup fee of $50. So the initial value is $50. That was how to find the rate of change and initial value from a situation. Now we're going to look at an equation. Okay, we have an artist at the fair. He charges a sitting fee to draw a caricature plus a fee per person in the drawing. His total charge, Y, based on the number of people in the drawing, X, is Y equals 2X plus 25. Now with an equation, notice there's only two numbers. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot to work with. There's not a whole lot of way or a whole lot of ways to mess up. And this is, as you'll remember, this is slope-intercept form, right? Y equals MX plus B. So slope, the slope is the rate of change. And the Y-intercept is your initial value. So the slope is M, remember and the y-intercept is b. So in y equals 2x plus 25, m is 2, and b is 25. So the first thing is, what is the sitting fee? This is what you pay just to sit down and him to draw you, okay? Doesn't matter how many people you have, he's going to charge you this amount. So this would be the initial value. This would be b, that's the y-intercept. So his sitting fee is $25. Now, how much does he charge? per person. Per person means that's a rate of change. Rate of change means slope, which is M, and here M is two. So he charges $2 per person. So the rate of change, the rate of change is always gonna be the coefficient of X. The initial fee is always gonna be the constant, that number all by itself. Next is a graph. A car rental company charges a one-time fee plus an amount per day. So what is the one-time fee? One-time fee is your initial value, and let's write it again. The more we write it, the more likely we will be to remember it. The initial value when you're looking at a graph is the y-intercept. That is where it's going to start. So we look on the y-axis, we look for that point, and here it is $50. And I completely missed that, didn't I? Where's my eraser? Okay, $50. So the one-time fee, that's the initial value. That is the y-intercept, that's $50. Now, how much does the rental company charge per day? So the rate of change from a graph, let's write it again. The rate of change is the slope. So we look at this graph and we need to find another pretty point. And this is one of those graphs that's a little hard to see. I think this right here is a pretty point, okay? The others seem to be off the corners just a little bit. So we're gonna draw our triangle. We're gonna do change in Y over change in X. The change in Y, 50 to 200 is 150, you could use a calculator and help you. And then the change in, uh, there's your change in Y. Remember, change in Y is your rise. Change in X, we go from zero to five. 
So we're going to divide that by five, and that gives us $30 per day. All right, and the last one's a table. A salesperson earns a base pay plus an amount for each television sold. This person's working on commission. We're gonna pay you, but we're gonna pay you more if you sell some TVs for us, okay? So the base pay, this is what happens regardless. This happens one time. I think you guys are pretty good at finding this in, um, in a table. You look for where the X value is zero because that's the Y intercept. The base pay here is just gonna be $100. If he doesn't sell any TVs, he's gonna get $100. Now, the rate of change, the rate of change is the slope. We're gonna find the change in Y and change in X, and in a table, you ask yourself, okay, how do I get from 100 to 160? I add 60, right? How do I get from zero to two? I add two, so I do 60, over two, and I get that this person is making $30 per TV, okay? Keep these notes, use them as you do the rest of today's practice.